Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna do a demo now. It's called magnetic field lines. Uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, little equipment. It's just little iron rods to illustrate how we can investigate the nature of the magnetic field lines of different magnets. So in physics, we learn that a magnet always has a, a south pole and a north pole. The magnetic field lines come out of the north pole like this, and then they wind themselves around and then they go all the way to the south pole, right? So it's gonna go, go straight out. The ones that are coming out of the north pretty much go straight out, and then it goes like this, it curves back in, right? Then it goes into the south pole. So it comes out of the north, curves in, right? And then comes into the south. Now inside of the magnet, the magnetic field lines go from the south to the north, like that. From the south to the north. Now there's also some magnetic leakage, magnetic field line leakage from the, uh, the sides of the magnet. So there is the magnetic field line should come out of the side and then it should go like this and then go back in. So a similar, it doesn't only go out from the ends. So it comes out from the side like this, goes like this and then goes back in, right? So I can also try different kinds of shape, uh, shapes of magnets. There's a horseshoe magnet right here. So if we have a horseshoe magnet, it looks like this. This is the North Pole, this is the South Pole. So the magnetic field line should be coming out of the North and then going into the South, right? And then they should also go this direction from the North to the South, right? And then it's gonna go like this, like this. And then there's another one gonna come out like this and like this. And then like this, like this, like this, like this. Then there's uh, one goes like this, like this. Then there's ones that probably do like this. They come out of the north and they wind the other way, right? Like that. And uh, there's also magnetic field lines inside of the magnet, which uh, will go from the south. Then they will loop around and then into the north, just like this, right? From the south to the north inside of the magnet. It's always from the south to the north. Outside of the magnet, it's always from the north to the south, right? Uh, so we can try different shapes, and we can also have two magnets that have uh, uh, circular shapes, north-south. We can put it on this instrument and we can test them out. We, already, we also have a cylindrical magnet like this, a bar magnet, but their sh the shapes of their magnetic fields should be very similar. So let me show you on this instrument. So it's basically made up of these little circular areas where they have uh, little iron rods that they've placed. And then when I bring a magnet to it, uh, the iron rods will respond to the magnetic fields of the magnet. You can see when I bring the north, right? See how the magnetic field comes out of the north, like this? You see, it comes out of the north, and then it, it, it comes from the sides too. And then you see how it's gonna go to the, all the way to the south. So you can kind of see as I'm moving it that the, the little rods are changing their shape and their configuration. See, when I go like this, they go out more this way, more perpendicular. The ones from the side kind of go out more slanted and then they go into the south. So as I move it like this, they start transforming their shape according to the magnetic field of the magnet. You see? Now, if I want to investigate the shape of the magnetic field inside of the magnet, I can always go like this, and I can put it on top. You see? So I can say, okay, the magnetic field is going to come out. You see this way? It's going to come out of the north, wind its way to the south, then go inside of the magnet, go from the south to the north. You see? Then then go out again, go back like that, and then wind its way around. I could try the other shape now. Same thing. You see? So the cylindrical uh, magnet is pretty much the same behavior. Like this, and then goes back. So then you, I could put it also on the top. Similar. That's how it goes. And see it goes out of the north right here, then wind its way around, then comes back. 
You could also investigate it this way. You could put it like this. And then look at it from the top view. Right? Look at it like, like that. And then you should be able to do the same thing with this magnet. Put at it from the top view. And then investigate that. Now let's do the horseshoe magnet. Okay, so you can see here, but this one, this one is the north. You can see here it says N, north. So the magnetic field is gonna come out from there. See, it's gonna come out from there. Then it's gonna curve around and then into the south. And then from the sides, the magnetic field is gonna go from the north to the south, right? Into, straight into the south. Now inside of the magnet, the magnetic field is not very straight, but it should be going from south back to the north. So it's, you see it's kind of winding its way, winding its way, and then going like this. And then you go like this, loops around, then goes into the north, then comes out of the north, and then into the south. Right, if I wanted to look at the shape outside, I would put them here, but the field is kind of weak on the outside. They don't react as well. Okay, you can also put them like this again. You can see it's coming from the north and then going into the south, you see? Like this, going into the south. Coming from the north and then going into the south. Like this. Same thing with this horseshoe magnet. Going from the north and then going to the south. From the north into the south. You see? So you could either do that way or you can put them this way. Put them on top and investigate the shapes that way. You see? So coming out of the north, going into the south, and then winding around again. See how it's coming out of the north? Going curving this way out of the north and then going into the south, you see? So you see how some of them go this way, and then they curve and they go this way, and the other ones are gonna curve out this way and then go into it, the magnet this way. And then uh, the next one is gonna be the this one. This is one uh, end of a magnet, like South Pole, you see? So the magnetic field is gonna come out of it or into it. Okay, now if this one Right now they are repelling. So one is north, one is south. So what, uh, what is the magnetic field of the two repelling look like? Because they're repelling each other, right? They look at the field lines. They're going like this and then they're diverging out. See, they're diverging out like this. They don't want to be together. If I try to bring them together, if I try to bring them together, they are separating. So if I draw the field of this, it goes out like this and then diverges out. You see? Like this, like this. So you see, you don't, they don't want to be together. Now if I reverse one of them, like this, see how now they're touching? So now what does the feel of that look like? Well, it goes from one and then into the other one. You see? So the other one went the other direction like this. Okay, so now you can see that the the two norths, the magnetic field in the uh, middle is zero because they're repelling each other, so the field lines kind of come out. In the north-south magnetic field, they come out of the north and then they go to the south. So that's kind of the um, shape that we discovered when we did the two um, circular magnetic, uh, the two circular magnets, they attracted each other. So that. That is pretty much to be expected. The magnetic field come out from the north, come south. So if I have two circles that are opposite poles, they're gonna attract each other. And if I have two of them that are north, they're gonna repel each other, and then their magnetic fields are gonna be coming, they're gonna diverge outward, and it, uh, you will not be able to bring them close to each other. So with this um, experiment, we were able to find the shape of the magnetic field lines of uh, different kinds of magnets, including horseshoe magnets and two circular magnets. The magnetic field of the 
uh, two circular magnets that had the poles reversed, north and south, is similar to the magnetic fields of the horseshoe magnet, when I put the horseshoe magnet, because one of them is north and one of them is south, so it should behave like the two circles that were opposite and they were attracting each other, okay? Thank you very much.